Hi, welcome back to PC Builder. I'm Jason. I'm super excited for round two of Boost My Build this month. This is the series where we take your PC part picker list, we tear them up, we put them back together, and we massively boost up your performance. If you get value out of this, remember to give it a like. It really does help out the channel. Click subscribe and the bell icon. That way you get notified when we release new content. And with that, Let's jump into it. We've got Messiah, 60 FPS. Love the name, by the way. I'm gonna summarize this. They're a small YouTuber. They play on their lap, 50, 60 FPS. They record at 30 FPS. Their birthday is next month. All right, happy birthday. They're planning to build a PC. They wanna record, edit, and stream Valorant and also AAA titles like Battlefield 2042, 60 FPS, and at least low setting at 1080p. Now, check this out. Um, if you're into Battlefield 2042, I am gonna do a video on what it takes to run it and whether or not your PC is ready and make some recommendations. Um, so stay subscribed for that. They were looking for a 3060, but they're just priced too much in India right now. Yeah, I know the Indian uh, market really is rough generally. So they're planning to buy a 1650 Super right now and upgrade later when prices settle down. They have a budget of $1,600 and they also want a good 144 Hertz monitor in that budget. Whew, that, that'll be a taller. Let's see what we got. Okay, so you have a Ryzen 5 5600X. You have a liquid all-in-one cooler, uh, ML240 uh, millimeter one. Might be a little bit of extravagance here. Then we've got an Asus Tough Gaming B550 uh, Wi-Fi motherboard for about $200. Uh, we've got uh, 16 gigs of DDR4 3200CL16. That's probably fine for now. Then the storage I think is gonna be a problem. So yes, we've got a one terabyte hard drive. Yeah. I know my recent SSD thing, everyone thinks I hate hard drives. I don't hate hard drives. I just think that they are very specific use these days and handling video files is, unless you're gonna do deep kind of cold storage of them, is generally not one of them. You've got only 500 gigs of NVMe SSD storage. I think that can be an issue, but let's see what else you got. You're gonna get the 1650 Super for $350. You've got a very nice case, Lee and Lee Land Cool. And then we've got a 650 watt power supply, which for this build is total overkill, but we, we wanna go up in GPU power. So it's good that we're planning for the future with that. So that's fine. Yeah, what would I change here? Um, well, first of all, I would I would recommend you downsize the CPU, but you probably can't downsize the CPU right now because the 3600 has completely gone out of stock in most places. I don't know if it has in India. I think the motherboard, if you could come down on that one, it, it, maybe you need the Wi-Fi on it. You can get a Wi-Fi dongle, remember. You could also look at a B450 motherboard, but you're gonna have to then think about, is it compatible with the 5600X? Does it have BIOS flashback? So maybe you're just stuck in for that. I would recommend going with the stock cooler for now and getting, getting rid of this, uh, this cooler just to give yourself another 80 bucks, maybe to throw it a graphics card that's more like a 1660 Super. It's a big jump up from a 1650 Super to a 1660 Super, remember that. So if you could do that, um, that might, might make your life a, a lot happier. The other thing I'd throw some money at, because I know we've got we've got basically $220. This builds $1,308 in the US. I'm just gonna go off that. I'd downgrade the case as much as I could, and then I would definitely upgrade this, at least a terabyte, at least a terabyte of SSD space. Like all the parts work together, that's not the issue. The issue is how do we maximize your performance? You also asked for um, a monitor. I went ahead and took a look at some monitors, and I pulled a couple out. Now this one's a little on the pricier side, it's about $260, $70 but it's, the, it's a 27 inch, which when you're streaming or recording things, 27 inch is a world of difference from 24 inch. Let me tell you, just having a little bit of extra screen real estate to do other stuff, to have OBS up and things like that, if you don't have a second monitor, makes a big difference. So this is a good monitor. If you do have a second monitor, maybe you're just looking for a gaming monitor. Uh, I found this LG uh, 144 Hertz 1080p panel. Uh, it's a TN panel, pretty good panel for just about $200 US. So you could go with that. But overall, I think the summation here is get some more storage, see if you can maybe downgrade the motherboard and downgrade the case and downgrade the cooler, hopefully a better graphics card. All right, we got Mondera Smith. Budget is $2,500 USD, okay. Aiming for high FPS gaming in 1440p and video editing. Oh, and you already own the GPU. Now, so I'm gonna assume the GPU is not part of the budget. And maybe you wanna do some animation work down the line in Blender. Okay, so we've got a mix of productivity. So let's see what you have. 5950X, wow, that's a kaboom right there. This is a no holds barred system, I get you. All right, so we got the 5950X. We've got the Corsair IQ H150i Elite. Uh, 
360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. We've got the Asus ROG Strix B550F. Great motherboard, just did a build with one. I'm happy to see you didn't overspend on the motherboard. That's one place I see people just sink endless amounts of money into because they want to buy these super expensive X570s that they get no benefit out of. Corsair Dominator, you're going to go four by eight, okay, to give you 32 gigs. That's, uh, so you're going to get dual channel and you're going 3600 CL18. Just wondering if we're spending this much money, why not get CL16? Uh, yes, it's more money, don't get me wrong, but you got a 5950X. Uh, I see the graphics card is an RTX 3090. You know, you will actually get some benefit out of uh, CL16 memory. You could probably, if you don't mind messing around with memory timings to get it right, especially if the, uh, the Infinity Fabric is giving you problems, you can go up to all the way up to 4000 speed uh, CL16 memory on this thing. But I actually think I'm gonna recommend that you get more memory rather than faster. We've only got one terabyte of space. I like that we didn't overspend on some PCIe Gen 4 drive. Now this is one of the more expensive, the Samsung 980 is one of the more expensive PCIe 3 drives, and it starts to get into PCIe 4 territory, but I think you're still far enough away that's okay. I would recommend getting at least two terabytes of space. If you want to do, start doing animation work and you're gonna build up a whole portfolio, consider more storage. Fractal Design Mesh Phi 2 uh, XL case, that's a big case, uh, but you know, you've got the 360 going on. You got a you know 750 watt power supply. That's, uh, the, 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 the unit you picked is absolutely fine. Corsair RM. Rock solid unit. I would feel much more comfortable here because you're already at, according to this, about 580 watts of power draw. Multiply that by 1.5. You're in about the 850 to 900 watt range. Now look, 750 watts is fine. The reason I ask people to multiply by 1.5, there's a little bit of a safety feature involved. You can kind of see that with a little bit of the gigabyte power supply drama that went on, right? It's the best generic advice that I can give. So I would recommend think about coming up on the power supply here. And if you're maybe a little confused on that, just go ahead and watch my PSU video. Maybe you've already watched it, just maybe rewatch it. Um, I would up this to 850 or even 900 watts. The other thing you can consider, since you want to get into Blender, like Blender runs really well with 32 gigs of memory. So I don't want to make it sound like you got to go out and get 64 gigs, like double this all of a sudden. But you, since you have money to spare, that's something you could consider. Um, other than that, this rig looks really good. I love the black and uh, RGB theme to it. Good job. Champion Brandon, what do we got here? Your budget's $1,200 Canadian for the parts without the graphics card. Okay, so you're, and you're in Canada. I'm also looking for a good 1080p high FPS gaming monitor for under 350 Canadian. They already own the RAM in the case. Uh, they don't know how to pick a bunch of other stuff, so they left that, especially with power supplies exploding. They don't know which one to pick. Okay, I get that. Their goal is high FPS gaming at 1080p at games like Apex Legends, Fortnite, wrestling fighting games, and they do some light video editing as a hobby. So let's see what they've got. Right, we have a 5600X uh, CPU, that's great. B550 AORUS Pro AC, that's a very nice motherboard um, with the Wi-Fi on it. Do you already own the memory, so we're not gonna mess around with that, but it is DDR4 3200CL16, you've got 16 gigs of it. You might think about getting uh, 32, although I think you're fine for what you're doing now. If you ever get heavily into video editing, I would definitely go up with the memory. Then you've got, I don't like your storage situation if you're gonna do video editing. If you're just gaming, this is fine. Uh, you've got a 500 gigabyte NVMe N.2 drive and you've got a two terabyte uh, hard drive. Now that would be fine for gaming. But if you're also gonna do video editing, I think you need a minimum of a one gigabyte, excuse me, one terabyte SSD. You're gonna go for a 3060 Ti, which is perfectly great. In fact, that's the system that's literally sitting next to me here. And then you own this case, which is a, you know, an Antec mid-tower case. What, I, I'm not, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with this one. I don't love the airflow on this case, as I recall, but it's 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 passable. So if you already own it, no reason to, to not use it. Let's start out by filling in some of the things that you're missing. Well, you're missing the CPU cooler. So let's start out there. With this build, you've got enough money here, 844, gosh, we got so much money left. We're gonna spend that money on the monitor. We're gonna go beyond $350 Canadian because people spend so much money on the tower that they forget and then they cheap out on this monitor and the sound system and everything. Like that's the whole point of all this highfalutin technology gaming stuff is that you get awesome imagery on an awesome screen with awesome audio on it. That's the whole point. Okay, so CPU cooler, 
I think a budget air cooler is absolutely fine for you. Let's go here to, what am I doing here? Let's actually, I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit. So it, there we go, looks much better. Let's go ahead and just sort these by price, honestly. Now I cheat, I've already, I cheat. I, I go through here and I star the ones that I would buy. Gamex 400S, uh, so this is the Gamex 400 Slim for 25 bucks. This would be a fine one. Um, it doesn't have any LED lights on or, or on it. Maybe that that's what you like. I, I have, don't see any RGB on your system so far. So let's do, let's go ahead and go with that. And then let's go down to the power supply because I know you were afraid of exploding power supplies. Check out my best PSU buying guide video uh, I did earlier this year. I'll leave a link down in the description. It's It basically takes you through how to not only size it properly and understand what all the 80 plus nonsense means, but to understand and give you a guide on how to pick a good one based on build quality so you don't get exploding power supplies. And that is to use the Linus Tech Tips PSU Cultist tier list for power supplies. And I go through on how to do all of that, where it is and which ones I would pick. So let's just go ahead and do that in practice. We've got just about 400 watts here. Multiply that by 1.5. We want about a 600 watt power supply. I'm not gonna get into why. Check out the video if, if you wanna know more. So let's go ahead. We're gonna obviously, we're gonna sort this by price lowest to highest. We're gonna come down here on the left and we're gonna go ahead and I just pop in all the efficiency ratings. As you know, the efficiency ratings are kind of nonsense. They're mostly marketing. Uh, especially when they lie, right? Like the Ari's game one that just, they recently lied about being gold certified. It's, geez, come on, man. Okay, so we're looking for at least a 600 watt one. Now I've already gone through here and I've starred the ones that I know are good. EVGA, EVGA BR unit, um, that's on the C tier. It's okay. Uh, Cooler Master Master Watt. Uh, I think that's the V2. This is actually a semi-modular power supply. Maybe we'll go with that. I do like the, the BQ unit too. I know some people have a problem with its operating temperature, but I'm gonna go ahead. Let's just go ahead and go with the cool. I think this is a cooler master master watt. This is the bronze one. Okay, now let's just stick with the BQ. I know that's a good unit. Okay, there you go. And it's uh, it's modular too, semi-modular. Let's fix the storage for you too. I would not do this if you were just gaming. I'm only doing this because you also said that you're, you wanna do at least some light video editing. And believe it or not, that just, it just eats up so much space so quickly. So let's at least give you a one terabyte and you can transfer old stuff onto the hard drive as you need to. But I just find I eat space like crazy, especially with B-roll and things like that. Oh, you need a monitor. Let's get you a monitor, man. I'm, I already know what monitor I'm getting you. Uh, it's the only monitor I, I was thinking about. As soon as you said you'd like eSports game, high refresh rate, uh, we're gonna get the ASUS Tough Gaming VG279QM. This is a 27 inch, well, let's just, let's add it in first before I give you the whole details. This is a 27 inch, 280 Hertz uh, gaming monitor. It's got both FreeSync and G-Sync on it. This will be absolutely, especially with the 3060 Ti, this will be phenomenal. Use the DisplayPort cable, by the way. And overall, just really phenomenal eSports monitors. Yes, you can get a monitor that's up to 360 hertz, but there's a huge amount of diminishing returns, and you're only talking about 60 more hertz here. I would go with this. This is a really trusted, uh, amazing gaming monitor. 450, now we're going over your budget, but I'm only doing that because in, in doing it, you know, we're still under your overall budget, which added all up was $1,550 Canadian. So at this point, if you wanted to, you could maybe go with a all-in-one liquid cooler instead. Um, there's nothing wrong with the Gamex 400S or any of those kind of small four or five heat pipe mid-tower budget air coolers. Uh, you could add in a second kit of your memory to get four by eight. So you'd get dual uh, rank as well as the uh, you know the 32 gigs of it, that's always good, especially if you're doing video editing. There you go, overall, this looks like a really, I would be excited to build this gaming PC. 9,000, that's a great name, okay, uh, that's an easy one. This is in the UK, the budget looks like it's 1,100 uh, pounds UK, they do need Wi-Fi, they've already got an RX 6600 XT GPU that they've purchased for 430 pounds. Uh, I guess that's gonna be included in, in the budge, budget overall. Let's go ahead and see what we get here. Look, this looks like a very reasonable build. This is a, a, a budget build. It's i5-10400 with a B560 motherboard. The reason you get a B560 motherboard and you do not you do not want a B460 motherboard is because you can overclock the memory on 10th and 11th gen Intel CPUs 
on B560 motherboards as well as the Z series motherboard, but you can't do it on B460. So do not buy a B460 really under any circumstance at this point. I did just garbage technology. Intel should never have locked the memory speeds in the first place, but that's that's not that's a, an issue for another video. Otherwise, yeah, 16 gigabytes of memory at 3200 CL16. You've got a one terabyte NVMe SSD, one of the ones that I typically recommend. It's widely available in Europe for a good price. The case is a little on the pricey side for a build like this, especially since you're already 21 pounds over. You didn't really give me much to work with here. You know, the other thing is I don't, this monitor is great. Uh, it's the MSI Optics G241. Certainly very, very, uh, very good kind of esports. Yeah, high refresh rate monitor, 24 inch. Uh, for only 148 pounds, which is actually a really good price for that monitor. Overall, I'm not seeing much I would do, except I will rem remind you that this case uh, only comes with two fans in the front. You're get definitely gonna need a fan in the rear here, so make sure you pick one out. I really liked in my last build, I used the Corsair Master Fan Halo fans. They are, I had never used them before, and I'll just tell you, they're worth the money. Otherwise, this looks, I, I like this build. The only thing I would consider is some of the B560 motherboards are not as good as other ones. Hardware and Box did a lot of testing on the B560 motherboards and found that some of them, uh, when you disable the power limits, still, they have VRM issues, they had power limit issues. I don't know if the B560, the uh, B560 MSI Pro VDH is one of the good ones. I do know that for a little bit less, for 10 bucks, 10 pounds less, I should say, you could get the ASRock uh, Pro 4, which is a, it's just a, one of the good boards that they found. Uh, in fact, I'll just click on it here. Yeah, this is one of the better boards that they found. It didn't downclock the processor. The VRMs were sufficient on it for uh, something like a, an i5. And in fact, even for, I believe they tested the i7 on it too. So I would consider maybe getting this with a Wi-Fi dongle, spend a little bit more on the Wi-Fi dongle or an M.2 Wi-Fi card you could you can put in there. This actually has an M.2 Wi-Fi slot on it right, uh, right here, in fact. So those are the things that I would consider. Overall though, we're starting off really good. So that's our Boost My Build series, both episodes. I really hope you enjoyed them. If you got value of the video, remember to give it a like. It makes a big difference to the channel. Click that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you get notified when we go live. <laughs>